Next to me is a pretty common sight. We've got a bunch of perennial grass that's mixed in with a lot of flowering plants, and we really don't want that perennial grass in this flower bed. Now there's many options that we have for controlling this grass. Most of the time we don't enjoy going through and actually physically pulling out this grass to make sure that it's not in the flower bed anymore. An option we have that is less labor intensive would be using a chemical option. So here we have a herbicide option that we can actually physically go out and spray that won't harm some of our flowering plants like this mint here, but will actually take out some of the grass species we don't desire. Now it might seem a little bit ridiculous that we don't have a very large area, but it's critical that we take this just as serious as we would for a larger area. We want to make sure and calibrate our sprayer. We want to make sure that we're following the label to get the recommended amount that gets applied out here in this flower bed. As we do this, you might consider using a syringe or a really small measuring cup. It's important to make sure that you label these so that way you know what the syringe has been used for depending on what chemical has been applied to the tank. We also want to think about adding a non-ionic surfactant like the one we have here. This helps break down the surface tension of water and actually helps increase the efficacy of the product that we're applying. As with any other application, we also need to think about the weather. Find a great day where we don't have a lot of wind like today and look ahead in the forecast to make sure we're not going to have rain or other types of precipitation that will decrease our efficacy for these products that we apply. A final thought is to really make sure we're thinking about our personal protective equipment. Make sure you've got some great gloves that are highly recommended. Wear a long sleeve, pants, some boots. Uh, we want to make sure that we're cleaning up after we're done and thinking about other people or pets that might be in this area once we've made an application. Reading the label is really important. For questions regarding what types of products to apply or how to calibrate or any other types of safety concerns, contact your University of Wyoming Extension Office or local county weed and pest district. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Sebade, and you're watching From the Ground Up.